Dr. Jason Saunders here with HBOT USA. Still here in Florida at Hyperbarics International with Dick Rutowski. Uh, so today I want to go over just the three main laws that govern hyperbaric. There are a few others, but just to get your, your mind wrapped around how does hyperbaric work exactly in terms of the physiology of our body. And so basically the three laws that work here are Boyle's Law, Henry's Law, and Dalton's Law. Boyle's Law, very simply, As pressure goes up, volume goes down. So if you have a certain amount of gas and you exert a pressure on that gas, it's going to shrink in size. Very simple. Henry's law basically says uh, as you pressurize that gas, you can dissolve that gas into liquid. The amount of pressure is directly related to the amount of liquid uh, absorption. And so uh, if you have a gas and you have a liquid, as you put pressure on those gas molecules, you can literally diffuse that gas into the liquid that it's sitting next to. Uh, a simple example is a can of seltzer. They're using carbon dioxide and water, and so as you pressurize the carbon dioxide, you could literally dissolve the uh, carbon dioxide molecules right into the water. And when you open that can and it releases that pressure, that's evidence of pressurized gas inside that liquid. In hyperbaric, it's the same idea. The can is the chamber, and instead of carbon dioxide, we're using oxygen, and instead of water, we're using our body. And so as you pressurize oxygen or air, and our body's inside that pressurized environment, those air molecules are dissolved directly into our liquid portion of our blood, into our plasma, which is which is able to then dissolve directly into our tissues. All of our tissues absorb oxygen at different rates, so depending on how much pressure and how much time you're inside that environment determines how much uh, absorption we can get. That said, uh, as long as there's a gradient, in other words, uh, gases always flow from highest concentration to lowest concentration, provided that there's pressure. And so, that pressure gradient is what allows us to absorb it. So when we're in that chamber, as long as we're in there, until we reach a saturation point, which would take about a day, um, we continually absorb more and more oxygen into our tissues, helping us heal or de you know, reduce inflammation or create more energy, whatever our body needs that oxygen for. The last one, The last one is Dalton's Law, which basically just says the total pressure of any gas is equal to whatever the um, partial pressures are of the gas that makes that up. And so what you could say as a very simple example, um, oxygen is 0.21, nitrogen is 0.79, and so if we had 100 units of oxygen or 100 units of air, we would say that the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of nitrogen equals the total pressure of the air that we're breathing. And so that becomes important because as you start to change oxygen dosages through changing, you know, is it 100% oxygen that you're breathing under pressure? Is it just air that you're breathing under pressure? Are you breathing some oxygen enriched air? So it's some, you know, different uh, fraction of oxygen within the air that you're breathing, we're going to have to use Dalton's law to determine the PO2. The PO2, like we discussed in other videos, the PO2 is the beginning of understanding oxygen dosage uh, as we're becoming uh, pressurized in an environment, absorbing that oxygen. So we use Dalton's law to figure that out, and these two laws are basically t explaining the physiology behind how that works. So thanks for listening. Listen guys, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Uh, we have a lot more videos coming to you in the very near future. Also, um, if you have specific questions and there's things you really wanna learn about hyperbaric oxygen, I am happy to share. So please write in the comments things that you'd like to hear in the future and we'll make sure we make a video of that too.